Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, Shanay, later na lang tali ang kanang nanti kay ang questions kay about sa duha ka speakers. Ma'am. So after na lang tali sa akin. Dito mag nanti games ron? Dili after sa kanang second speaker. Okay, so it looks like we'll be proceeding to the next guest speaker. Um, Mr. Marshano Bogdas, kindly introduce our second speaker for Day One Chem Talk. Hello, good morning everyone. Our second speaker is a Nestle Quality Assurance Center chemist at Nestle Philippines, one of the largest food and beverage companies in the country. They're here responsible for performing analytical tests on raw materials, in process and finished product samples in accordance with in-house laboratory instructions and standard operating procedure. Our speaker is a former public information officer and representative of the BSU Clinical Society. He earned his bachelor's degree in chemistry in 2017 at the Visaya State University in Bye Bye City, Leyte. Right after graduation, he started his professional career as quality control analyst at Interfil Laboratories Incorporated, the largest and the most modern pharmaceutical tool manufacturer in the Philippines. She passed the chemical technician licensure examination in October 2018 and Chemist Licensure Examination in October 2019. Two years after, at Interlab, he was promoted to Quality Control Section Manager in the Quality Control Department. Currently, he is pursuing postgraduate studies in Research and Development Management at the University of the Philippines Open University in Los Banos, Laguna. Let us all welcome our second, our second speaker, Mr. Gerald Villarino. Thank you so much, Mark. Luisan, murag na ay man, no? Guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me loud and clear? Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, thank you so much Mark. Bugta sa uh, introduction. Power ka ayon, no? Pak na pak jud ang mga definition. So... Let me share my screen na. <laughs> Wala dito ko na kasagang sa manok. Intro part siguro to sa introduction. <laughs> Kung ano siya, background effect. Can you see uh, my slides na guys? Yes sir. Okay na. Siyempre, mag-content disclaimer sa ta kay Kalig Ugman na natas koan sa kulungan. So, content disclaimer, the views and opinions expressed in this presentation or comments in this PowerPoint presentation are those of the speakers or authors and do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by Interfield Laboratories and or uh, Nestle Philippines. If you have a complaint about something or find this content is being used incorrectly, please contact the speaker prior to making a copyright claim. Any infringement was not done on purpose and, and will be rectified to all parties' satisfaction. Um, so before I begin, to our cast dean, Ma'am Loreto, our department head, Ma'am Quevedo, to the faculty and staff of DOPA, former professors of DOPA, colleagues, BSCAM and BSAGCAM students, and to all the participants, Pagbati na magandang umaga. And before I formally start my chem talk, gusto ko magpasalamat sa BSU Chem Talk at sa mga bumubo nitong officers for granting me this once in a lifetime opportunity. I hope na I get to inspire our chemistry majors as they walk along the path of the quote and quote modern day wizards of the society. So this is the chronological timeline of how I ended up today with my career with all the ups and down life moments, 
the right and wrong decisions, and the gain and loss of life opportunities. So <laughs> I graduated from Mayorga National High School, which is a public school at Mayorga Leyte. Back then, my favorite subject was biology. And I do love science except chemistry, kasi sobrang daming math and chemical symbols. And I'll be honest, I'm really bad at math. And as far as I remember, the only experiment we conducted in chemistry was dissolving a salt in water to define a saturated, saturated, and super saturated solution. Yun lang ang ginawa namin for the rest of the academic year. Chemistry being an abstract subject, mas ganahan pa kung bisig, uh, physics bisag na ay math. And also like the typical high schooler, I'm very active with extracurricular activities like cheer dancing and participating in dance contests. And ngayon pa lang, sinasabi ko na sa inyo, I'm no special and I'm just like all the other students who just wanted to enjoy uh, school life and free from, free from rules. And since I love biology, I wanted to become a biologist. After I graduated high school, I pursued college at one of the reputable university in Tacloban, Lady Normal University. Luckily, I um, uh, I passed the entrance exam and interviews and got enrolled with a degree in BS Biology. Unfortunately, I only finished one academic year. On my last semester at LNU, one of our subjects conducted educational tour in BSU. So, of uh, VSU, as we all know, is a famous tourist attraction, Green University in Leyte, due to its majestic mountain, Pangasugan, and the crystal clear water of the Komote Sea. Pero ang ostrich guild, ang dili ko kalimot aning tour. First time ko nakita ang ostrich. Um, this tour also captured my heart, and siguro I fell in love with VSU's panoramic and breathtaking views. Now guys, you may ask me, ganong nag-shift man ko to this chemistry, and ganong nag-transfer ko to school? I have two major reasons why I need I needed to shift and transfer school. First, there was this moment when I was bullied in LNU. While I was wearing my lab gown, he was uh, an education major student who told me that pilingon man sila, uy suot suot og lab gown, mera bag makatrabaho mo dai, wala man may board exam. I was only 18 years old that time and I was persuaded that the only way for you to get a decent job is to have a license. And as a future breadwinner, hindi ako pwedeng tumambay or walang trabaho after college. I need to shift the course nga na I board exam. And since I love science, the only options I got, it's either biology, physics, or chemistry. And among those three, it's only chemistry who has licensure exam. So, bisag di ko ganahan, kaya lagi I hate chemistry, na pugus ko shift for the sake of my family's future. The second reason was more on financial aspect. My uncle, who was supporting my educational finances, have stopped working abroad. And the Chidi scholarship alone was not enough. So, wala anay magfinance na ako unya. Mahal pag yun ang tuition sa LNU o cost of living sa boarding house. Thus, I needed to transfer school na affordable lang tuition and cost of living. And it's none other than VSU, of course. And VSU being an agricultural school, according to me, Pwede na daw magtanong ang students o kaugalingon nga gulay at mga yung bugas sa mga farmer nga mag-harvest within the school. And I don't know if it... Uh, yeah, but yeah, it, it happens. So, it's a life hack kaayo para sa mga student nga kapus palad. So, IBS chemistry, ako na siyang gitubag. But how does other people perceive us pursuing this degree? Correct me if I'm wrong, pero maujid ni ang mean and reality check sa mga chemistry majors. Naasad mo mo tana o kabalusad mo mahimong sabon? Lami ka ayo to bagun og. Are you referring to saponification process? Char. Char lang. So, um, why did I choose this high state university? Simply because this institution provides quality education and it's an internationally renowned university with affordable cost of living. And as I, as I said earlier, it's a university tourist attraction. Now shifting from BS Biology to BS Chemistry real quick, I became a I became member of the Irregular Student Society. And I so good as go as first year student. So uh, first year student part two, na nek, first year sa LNU, then first year na po sa Visca. Ugg sa dihang. Dayulan the struck on November 2013. 
So, niundang kong eskwila for one year. Inahangan ako magbantay sa akong lola and lolo. The difficult part sa pagundang kong eskwila was to overcome your insecurity nga ang ima batchmates kay hapit na makahuman unya ikaw kay nabilin pa. With the pressure, also nga dili na ni mo mahuman ang college within the regular age time frame. But that is totally fine. We have our own basis of success. Dili porket ni undang ka, nga you will lose all the opportunities. You need to understand that sacrificing is one of the elements of success. Never ever compare yourself with other people. It will only lead to disappointments. Okay, after a year of academic hiatus, I returned back to school and with new set of uh, new set of classmates. The left picture was with our, uh, after our class in organic chemistry three. It's organic spectroscopy with Sir Salas and. Uh, Sir Mark and I are holding the banner. Uh, it's a 2015 exemplary research award ni Sir Salas. Ang anadjud ka competitive si Sir Salas. And the right picture was our last laboratory class in organic chemistry 2. Uh, organic chemistry 2 back then was uh, more on organic reaction mechanism with Mam Beta. I'll never forget this lab experiment. It was a uh, synthesis of cyclohexene. Kay nang hubag jud ang amo mga waet kay laging dili magsugot Dili magsuot og taro nga PPE. Mao ni ang majors nga pasaway sa so, huwag tolaran. Uh, for me ha, college life is not complete if you have not tried staying in the university dormitories. Ani gud ko na train to be more independent and develop to the end power ang socializing skills. Also, we have friends sa dorm nga tabangan ka overnight sa thesis, uh, makapamaylo kag kwarta. And ma makaubat sa dimog pangawat o grambutan sa engineering, char lang, taling ma-reporta sa yuso. So, um, two years ako nag-stay sa Mulave and then one semester sa Mulberry. So, sa mga students karon, I don't know, but if, I, if you could recognize familiar faces dira sa pictures. My undergraduate thesis was a river project. Though ganahan good si ikog yun ka thesis, baka ng pang Nobel Prize. Pero lagi, wala man tayo kwarta o niya pobre. So, ato tas thesis nga free. Though there is no such thing as free nga thesis, kay mo gasto dyan kag pabind o sa mga revisions. I was lucky enough kay naapay vacant river project si Ma'am Abet. And maoto, ya-adapt ko ni Ma'am, she became an advisor. Conducting the thesis, especially water sampling kay perting ka-struggle. Musaka o bukid, and musawam sa tubig. And thanking my advisor was not enough. Hi, si Ma'am Abet. Very generous good siya from transport allowance to foods and to overnight sa dopak. Bantayan good ka and, and best in support yun si Ma'am 24-7. I know my batchmate could uh, testify on this kay naka-avail po sila sa mga pagkaon ni Ma'am Kibedo. Oh, yaw yaw mo dai. Charot. <laughs> so, mga ito, gitawag na mo si Ma'am Abet nga, Mama. In Spanish niya pagkasuluti. Mama, mama ang tawag na mo ni Ma'am Abet. And also, dili mawala ato mga supportive niya batchmates kay magtinabagay yun ni sa kada tagsang thesis. Aron, ano, aron tanan makagraduate o gasa ang overnight na ami para mo support provided na ay pagkaon. <laughs> na being a product of a broken family, no? Uh, I lived my entire life na depending with my grandparents from elementary to college. Uh, but the best part, uh, anong makagraduate na ka? You know, this, uh, this one's funny kay ang amo jud ani ko, ang amo jud mo to ani, no? Classmates, the cheat together, graduate together. Charot, talik ko ng diploma. Pero it was the fulfilling part, no? Kaya after sa kahago for four years, nakagraduate na yun. And no, small steps matters. And yeah, as I said earlier, being a product of a broken family, I lived my entire life depending with my grandparents from elementary to college. I promised my lola or nanay that I will be able to wear the best OOTD in life. Unfortunately, she passed away a month after the typhoon Yolanda. And my lola or tatay also passed away a year after my nanay left. Even though both of them died before I graduated, I still need to fulfill my promise that I'll take a picture with them wearing the best OOTD in life. And after taking that picture uh, in the right, uh, I really, I really cried hard. 
it was very tragic for me kaya wala na ako ginikangan I'm all alone though my real mother attended the graduation there is this void in my heart that only my nani and papa could fill in now the very big question after you graduate what now take the boards or find a job so week before I graduated, I asked Sir Leomar, a BSCAM alumni, about his review materials. I really wanted to take the boards right after the graduation, kay fresh pa ang concept. But I also believe that if dili ko mag review center, dili good ko makapasar, kay I need realignment of all the chemistry concepts. Kanilaging dili ta academically competitive, na agud day doubt sa kaugalingon. Then Sir Leomar advised me to reach out to Ma'am Ia Tulin for an advice in taking the chemistry board exam. Fortunately, bisag no one ra ko sa BSU, gitagad ko ni Ma'am Ia. Feel na ko kay, swerte ka ayaw ko kay I get the chance to talk with her sa House of the President. Kunya, ang iya sa mga advice sa ako resonates and inspires me na maning kamot sa board exam. Ma'am Ia even told me nga, President Edu was willing to provide me financial aids to enroll for review center. Pero ako jud ang naulaw kay I I feel nga it was uh, overwhelming blessing nga gihatagan sad ko ni Ma'am Ia sa iya review materials uh, with their personalized notes we can see in this picture. And but I feel afraid nga I will not pass the board exam. So I declined the monetary offer. Murag jud ko gwapo no kay magdecline decline. So when you take the boards, guys, you need to be confident that you'll pass without a second thought. But I'm so thankful, no, even up to today, the generosity of Mom Ia and her family. And since I was not yet ready to take the boards, and the pressures, and the pressure, yeah, I already graduated as the breadwinner. I need to immediately support my family's um concerns. So actually, I have applied to different jobs, but it's very hard to choose. Uh, for the perfect job since I don't have a license that time. So, pumasok ako sa interview as QC analyst without experience and without a license. Unya, mag-juicy, juicy pa ka. Siyempre, hindi na ka mag-juicy, no? Kaya wala na ganit kay experience, wala pa kay lisensya. So, I accepted the job offer though the salary was small. Pero gibawi rasad sa OT. And um, working outside your comfort zone, sige, tagalate good ko niya, nigaray sa Laguna para mag-work. Uh, it's a challenging role. Zero visibility good ka asa ka magsugod unless na akay backer. Uh, as new bisin Laguna, listen ng ito of work, uh, information nga naka-customize ang information such as salary, the type of job, its location, and the benefits. But thanks to Job Street, I was able to apply. When I started as QC analyst in a pharmaceutical toll manufacturing company, Tall manufacturing kay uh, Interfil no is not famous like Unilab, um, ano ba ba, Pascual. Kay we are like we provide uh, ano parang kining mga famous nga mga uh, pharmaceutical company like uh, Pfizer, like uh, ano ba ba, like Novartis, magpagama sila og mga pharmaceutical products. Uh, sa mga toll manufacturing companies and Interfield is one of the biggest toll manufacturing companies in the Philippines. Kaya syempre, dili enough no, ang, mga, ang, um, ang mga manufacturing sites sa company no, to sustain, to supply the demand sa market. So, I have limited, when I started that, I have limited ideas on how and what are the responsibilities of a chemist. Sa industrial chem na subject, I remember sa undergrad, at agad mga concept on sa mga ginabuhat sa industries, pero lahi irag yun ang hands-on. Being my first job, majority of my uh, testing parameters are new to me. The first two months, I was assigned in the liquid products testing for in-process, bulk, and finished goods. Basically, the scope of my analysis ranges from organoleptic, pH, viscosity, specific gravity, color reaction, photometric, and basic thin layer chromatography. Now, the amazing part of the mentioned testing was uh, first time ko nakagamit o glass and metal pycnometer. Uh, pycnometer na it's the uh, uh, used in uh, measuring specific gravity. And also, I get to I get to use yung digital viscometer. Yung mga when you when you try to ano to quantify the viscosity ng mga propane, viscosity ng mga ano ba uh, ibuprofen, ng mga liquids. 
And I also learned how to calibrate those equipments. Then I was assigned in the dry products testing where I need to perform physical testing of capsules, tablets, or subgel in terms of weight variation. So the diameter, thickness, hardness, disintegration. Disintegration means kanong sa matuno ang tablets. And friability of uh, how compact the tablet. No? Okay. When it is transported from area, one area to another, you need to determine that the uh, daily mature, kanong maibanan ang kuan ang uh, um, okay, ni? structure sa tablet. Kaya syempre, mabawasan sa ang potency. Then after six months, I was transferred in the dissolution testing. Dissolution apparatus, this one, this one is a dissolution apparatus. It is a very unique equipment for all pharmaceutical industry. It serves as a human-like apparatus where it simulates the environment of your stomach. Normally, only sample preparation occurs here. So this solution testing works in tandems with either UVB spectrophotometer, AAS, HPLC, GC, or even the classical titration. I could say it's a hyphenated method since sample prep happens in the dissolution apparatus while the quantitation occurs with other sophisticated instruments. Now this uh, picture here, this is my one of my interns. No? Talagang pinapahandle ko ng equipment ng interns kasi I want them to experience no? how to handle equipments that they cannot handle in the school. So, and then I was trained in gas chromatography and eventually became a qualified analyst. I have approximately two years of solid uh, uh, expertise with the use of gas chromatography instruments. And unlike HPLC, GC is commonly used with volatile organic compounds such as alcohol, but there are instances that less volatile compounds are derivatized, no? in order to be quantified using GC. Uh, the well-known products that I was able to quantify, um, the alcohol content are Bactidol. Nauso ang Bactidol ng pandemic. So, siguro uh, 200 batches a year yung minanufacture. And I like, lahat ng alcohol testing nun, testing nun, ako yung, ano, ako yung, ako yung gumawa. And also yung Rubitocin, Dimetap, and Betadine, just to name some. I was also trained in using HPLC. Having interns no, is one of my looking forward program sa Interfield. Kaya I get the chance to train and emerge undergraduate students from UP Manila, UST, Mapua, San Carlos, uh, towards hands-on training sa sophisticated instruments nga halos di sila kagunit during college. When, um, to be honest, I find happiness sharing my skills and knowledge with them. I feel proud when they learn something new and life hacks sa lab. And syempre, what is work if you don't have supportive and collaborative workmates? Nung pumasok ako sa Interfield, ako ato yung pinakabata na analyst, no way back 2017. Uh, some of them are on their 40s, most of them are in their 50s. So maradyo ko nilag ako. Now, due to chemistry law, being a licensed chemist or uh, licensed chemical technician has become a must for every analyst working in the lab. Kay Ogdili, ipasara dyan mo sa PRC Chem. But not to men, um, I struggled yun tong um, registration no, before pandemic, kidagan kayong tao. And the, when I do the self-review process, struggle ka ayo kay not to mention na I'm working from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. kay mandatory ang 12-hour shift sa Interfield. Uh, so it, it makes the self-review process uh, a burden kay di ba muuli musud ka sa work nga ngit ngit pa muuli ka sa work nga ngit ngit pa sad nya imo na lang i rest ituon pag yud nimo pero this is the path that i take di ba so i need to be strong now syempre hindi tayo consistent when it comes to reviewing there are times talaga nga kapoy jud magtuon no kay especially nga na adun maka realize nga uh, ang pait sa industry kay workaholic jud ang mga tao. So, ug ug mag ug mag work lang kag 8 hours no sa interfere kay murag kuan siya mortal sin. So, kinahanglan jud ka mag overtime. So, I pero I don't know pero the definition of being an effective uh, employee sa mga uh, ubang tao kay you render a lot of OT and it's it's not good. It's a toxic 
Um, to be honest, diligent ko consistent magtuon sa uh, to, sa review kay mas ganahan ka magrest kay kapoy inaguli sa work. I pray hard pero may effort is not enough. I was reminded of Sir Boy statement na mo sa una pag inorganic chemistry tunga lecture. Ana si Sir Boy nga dili enough ang musimbaka sa tanang simbahan nga holy and sacred for you to pass the exam. Kinahan lang sad maning kamot ka og tuon kay dili jud madag pray pray ra day. So Failure is not, but always remember, failure is not permanent. Make it as a stepping stone to try again intelligently. Learn from your mistakes and be better again. Strategize the things that you think you lack during the first attempt. Um, just an advice. You, we never fail. We just learn. So the next year, I started with the lessons learned from my previous mistakes and realizing the things that I still need to improve. So nag uh nag enroll ako sa Quantum Review Center it was one of the best uh, decision i made in life and then uh, so good na sa tag review but this time kung la kung sa 2018 uh, i just review only sundays ngayon nagliba ako sa trabaho lang dalawang buwan para i get the ano, makakokos talaga ako kasi hindi siya enough na ano eh, every weekends mo lang ginagawa. You need to really devote, devote a time for review. Kasi 2017 ka graduate, tapos 2018-2019, atong brain cells, pangitaong pa nito, pangitaong pa yun na to, asa na ang mga concepts kay nangawala na. Now, my advice to you guys is, uh, para sa akin ha, I, this does not apply to everyone, but for me, uh, since biochemistry is ano talaga eh, uh, very, ang dami mga metabolic pathways, kailangan mong tandaan. Uh, but they should not be memorized no, according to my uh, review instructor sa biochem. You should, uh, you should uh, parang, parang make it a habit na hindi mo, kasi kapag minememorize mo, once you forget a uh, step on that, uh, the whole process, you almost forget uh, everything. So, one of the best way was yung lagi mo siyang nakikita. So, ayun, nag-effort ako maglagay ng mga metabolic pathways sa wall. Also, you take advantage of the chemistry application sa phone. Kaya in your vacant time, no, aside from uh, scrolling social media, na yung mga chemistry application na uh, that can help you do the review. Also, the law of attraction. Wala pa mo nag-date, you're, you're claiming na na, yes, I will pass this board exam. Kasi parang it's ano eh, parang it sets your aura. Uh, I know there is an option nga bumagsak, pero just always, ano, ano, uh, always think that you, you can do it. And uh, the, the taken for granted na um, review notes for the chemistry licensure exam was the TOS. Uh, readily available to. Kasi before, I thought nga makapasar ko og board exam kung from page to page jug ko maglanlan og mga concepts. And I realized there was a life hack. The TOS was a life hack. Kay, um, ang mga questions sa board exam, anira jud ninyo makita. No, na sila yung mga weights, the number of items nga mo appear sa board exam. Then, huwag niyo mo tanawin jud ang mga topics no, within the sa TOS. Makita jud ni mo nga uh, delete ng concept niya present na sa libro uh, na appeal sa exa ano no, sa sa TOS and also I want to thank Sir uh, Mark Tripoli for the review materials nga iya gi upload sa Philippine Chemistry Board uh, exam page sa FB it helps me a lot especially the organic chemistry questionnaires and syempre yung ano American Chemical Society and GRE uh, you always subject yourself every day. Ayun lang sige kung basa o concept. Subject yourself every day nga magsige kag answer o test questionnaire. Kasi it helps you to ano eh, to retain uh, mga concepts eh. Kung magsige na, kung mag, para na ako, kung magsige na kagbasa kay passive. So you need to every day dyan mag-answer kag at least 100 questions a day. It will train your mind. And then... Also, uh, for me, the uh, no, no, the recipes for uh, the that's why I pass discipline. Uh, syempre, part should ang mag-deactivate sa social media and dedication. 
niya uh, ako jud gi prof ako gi wallpaper ang akong bagsak na grade sa <laughs> first take na ako sa chem no kay para ma-inspire ko then gi wallpaper sa na ako ang uh, uh, mga kung sa kanang registered chems sa mga wallpaper and uh, you should learn from the from your mistakes no uh, from your uh, sa mga practice test and then yeah this one is one of the unforgettable milestone I ever have next after the college graduation. And I really wish na buhay pa yung lola ko and lolo to accompany me in this prestigious event. I dedicate my license with my grandparents. And syempre, sa lahat ng taon na nakatulong sa akin to, to pass. Kasi hindi ba yata, academically, academically competitive, we are just diligent and mataas ang pakaarap sa buhay. Now, after passing the licensure exam, I was uh, offered to be promoted you know, to, for the managerial position. So the people around me was once my co-analyst. Now I was given the chance to lead them and create a competitive team. As a manager, no, you need to coach others. You should, you should listen, question, and challenge them to find their own answers. Because it, if you tend to provide the solutions to them, it will give them, um, they will not have the chance to solve it by themselves and become independent. They will be dependent to you. So, and as a leader, you should anticipate violent reactions and objections from your subordinates and be prepared for them because you can you can appear to be insensitive sa mga concern ng mga tao mo. You need to attend to the needs of the people and you should also be able to simplify complex issue into easily understandable na elements and one of the ano, no, hot issues sa uh, industry is yung mga, ano, mga na, ina, ina-approve, na-disapprove ng mga vacation leaves. Kasi kapag wala kang ano, manpower, mas hindi ka makakapag-release ng mga produkto. And then, I really believe that learning is a continuous process. So before becoming part of the Interfields Management Team, I, I have first applied for the vacant R&D uh, position. Pero may mga heads talaga no, na they don't want to lose their potential analyst. Kaya instead of providing me the R&D position, ginawa na lang nila ako manager para nandun pa rin ako sa lab. And uh, about this, uh, na na-admit ako sa UPOU, I, I, syempre ina-underestimate yung sarili ko kasi hindi naman ako academically competitive. Eh. Pero I was so happy na, na nakapasok ako sa, ano, sa UP system na hindi uh, na kahit may bagsak ako na grades, may INC, may TRES, but still, you are worthy of, after all the failure. You just need to have that, ano, no, the fighting spirit na not surrender. And then, and then, sorry, and then. And then, I resigned from Interfield. No, I resigned from Interfield because of three reasons. First, I have a humongous loan. My salary was no longer enough to pay the monthly dues. I can I can only pay it with my accumulated sick leaves convertible to cash. And second, I was no longer enjoying my job as a section manager due to reorganization or restructuring sa company. Instead of the being a manager dun sa testing, I was reassigned sa documentation management, which I think is a boring job. I'm more passionate towards testing, troubleshooting equipment, and managing the people. And third is family problem. So being the breadwinner of a broken family, it was difficult to uplift the economic status of each member if, uh, if I'm the only one bearing the weight. In short, uh, all of my effort to provide better future was taken for granted. With all this, the pandemic, mental health issues, juggling graduate school, plus working 12 hours a day for six days, I resigned. Before I reapplied to Nestle, I had a job offer accepted from NASAT Lab. NASAT Lab is a subsidiary of Sigma Tech where David Tabadi is working as a laboratory chemist. Supposedly, workmates kami ni David Tabada ngayon. But uh, if I did not choose Nestle, now what made me choose Nestle is because of my family. I could not pursue a professional growth kasi ako ang inaasahan ng family and mga kapatid ko in terms of finances. So parang sila muna bago ako. So I started my career with Nestle last year, December 2021. So two months pa lang ako as part of the NQ, uh, Nestle Quality Assurance Center or NQAC Chemistry Department. 
currently I'm on a probationary status so depende sa sa satisfactory performance ko kung magiging regular employee tayo. And for the record, I have applied in Nestle four years ago. Right after I graduated in VSU, way back June 2017, my instructor in Chemistry 21 or Gen General Chemistry 2, Ma'am Glenis Anarte, was then part of Nestle Quality Assurance Team. Then they have this QA analyst hiring position. Ma'am Glenis asked me to give it a try. And yun yung dahilan no, kung bakit ako umalis ng late para mag-apply sana sa Nestle. And... Fast forward, dumutang ako ng pera sa dito ko, Tugoto Laguna, and then the very moment, alam mo yun, haggard ka pa, the very moment na dumating yung bus sa Laguna, that was my first interview. And then long story short, I passed all the written exam, all the interviews, but I failed in medical exam. So hindi ako nakapasok sa Nestle. That was when I get another opportunity in Interfield. So I could say Nestle being my second job today, it was an epic comeback. And I thanks God and the people that helped me to have a second chance for this opportunity. Now, disclaimer alert. This video uh, is intended for um, educational purposes and all the credits goes to its rightful owner. I'm not in the place or entitled to talk much about how we do in NQAC kasi two months pa lang ako eh. I'm still on a prob probationary status. My performance still needs to be evaluated. And above all, Nestle have a strict data security policies and regulations. Okay, I'm not allowed to share with you what I do in the lab at the moment. I have downloaded this video from YouTube. This is a public material and it's readily available for consumers' information. I hope this will give you an insight of what NQAC is. How to play this one. Sarili niyo naman. Excuse me, sir. Yes. My, well, I, yes, sir. Nakikita niyo ba yung presentation kanina? Narinig niyo ba yung video? Wala well, yung sound lang. Ah, sound lang. I'm sorry. Siguro uh, I'll play it on. Ano ko ba ito ipi-play? Wait lang, ha? Hmm. Super plain na lang the video. Uh, I'll go to the Nestle. Ito na lang. I hope. Ito, naririnig nyo na. Nakikita.
So hindi niyo pa rin nakikita, guys. Oh my god. Wala pa naka-share, sir. Hindi ako techy when it comes to Wala this. Wala share, sir Gerald. Oh, your entire screen, sorry. I was I was really thinking na nakikita niyo na. So pardon for the technical error. Um okay, ulitin ko. Two minutes lang naman to na video. Okay, okay, okay. Asan na yan? Tapos. Ayan. Na, na. Wala yung sound? Wala pa rin audio, sir. Oh my gosh! No audio. Um, Mark, can you help me? I have to, ano, this one. Share a tab. Okay, I need to go here. Then, stop presenting muna, guys. Share, then, a tab. Okay. Tapos, share. How do I click this one? Uh, this one. Okay. And then, nakashare atab na ako what happened. <laughs> what happens after here? I'll try to play the video. Can you hear it, guys? If ever, siguro, I'll just send it na lang. Pero it's readily, uh, readily available sa YouTube, guys. Okay, while waiting for Sir Gerald to come back, uh, reminding to for you to take a screenshot of yourselves for the day one because it will be needed for the attendance link. It will be sent tomorrow. Okay. Um, guys, parang nahihirapan ako bumalik dun sa video part. So, I'm sending na lang here the link. Uh, it was just two minutes, so you can uh, watch it at your own pace. So, ayun lang. So, that ends my presentation.
Quality is about trust. The Quality Assurance Center here in Dublin, Ohio exists because Nestle has a very high level of commitment to quality focused on customer and consumer safety. We are the center of excellence for analytical expertise for chemistry and microbiology. We finished two phases of a three-phase expansion and renovation. Our role is to be on the leading edge of testing to make sure that the consumer can feel good about Nestle's products. Sample processing is basically the hub for Nestle Quality Assurance Center. We get all of the boxes from all over the world. We get raw materials, finished products, swabs, environmental waters, soil samples, packaging samples. On average, close to 300 boxes a day to be processed for analyses here to make sure that the food is safe for people to consume. They register into our LIM system, which then logs the analyses for the lab so they know what to test. After samples go through sample processing, they either go to compositing for chemistry testing or they'll come to Central Way for microbiology testing. Our general microbiology lab performs over 24 different methods testing for indicator organisms for overall hygiene and quality of the product. Our pathogen lab is an integral part of food safety for Nestle. We test finished products and raw materials to ensure they are free from pathogens such as salmonella and listeria. We do this up front to make sure that we can build trust with the consumer and that we don't have to be involved in any sort of recall situations for pathogens. We have a very large chemistry department. We have testing that ranges from nutritional testing to contaminant testing. We also do authenticity testing to ensure an apple is an apple and an orange is an orange for juice concentrates. Nutritional testing is going to be the things you see on your label. So your fat, your calories, sugar, um, minerals, vitamins, and then your contaminant testing, so pesticides, mycotoxins, heavy metals, and we also have some packaging testing that looks at the contaminants in the packaging samples. Nestle's been around for 150 years, and that's not by accident. That happens because the company understands it's about consumer and customer trust, and a commitment to invest in a laboratory network as extensive and impressive as ours is a testament to that. Thank you so much, Louise, for assisting the Anna in the video presentation. But the video itself, yun yung ano namin na actual process dito sa Nestle Kabuyao. So at the moment, I can't share much of information because of data privacy, and I still need I still need to earn my the trust of Nestle because two months palang ako dito. Thank you, guys. Okay, na sir. Okay, na. Okay. Thank you, sir, for that inspiring um message. Um, <laughs> na inspired din yung mga chem, mga aspiring chemists, <laughs> So let's give our speakers this morning a round of applause. You may turn on your mic. So since Ms. Shanil is um, not here because she has an urgent um, to urgent uh, thing to attend to, I'll be taking over the program. So may I request Mr. RJ to present the Manti Games.
reminding you to have your screen you know for the two day webinar. Thank you. Go ask me. I'm all about that base. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty clear, I ain't no science fool So you got litmus litmus, well I can turn it blue Make it go boom boom all over the place When all the H plus meet all the OHs Pink phenolphthalein, 